Yo, what's up? This is Rock Lynn. Today on Passport Kings, we're trying to figure out what's the function of using a travel agent in this day and age. Engage. I'm Rock Lynn. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. The world is rapidly changing. A lot of people will tell you that the days of the travel agent is far behind us. Turn on your phone or your computer or TV and travel websites that has national commercials are practically begging you to use their travel search engine for easy do-it-yourself deals. So understandably, nowadays about 45% of business travelers and fewer than 25% of leisure travelers will still pick up the phone or email a travel agent to book their trip. What people don't realize though, even if you are a frequent traveler, is if keeping up with travel trends is not your occupation, there is no conceivable way of you knowing if you're getting the best deal or not. But many still do it on their own, feeling that they are saving money and time. Well, you are not going to pay extra by using a travel agent. That is just not how things work in this industry anymore. We are paid by the companies we book for. But now let's discuss this little thing called being overwhelmed. So many prices and deals and perks from so many various places are being thrown at you at the same time. Even a travel agent can be put in a never ending puzzle constantly asking themselves, is this the best offer for my client? Will it change later? Is this apples to apples or oranges? Will there be hidden costs tacked on? Should I just go for it, book it, and let the chips fall where they may? Could someone somewhere beat this price and leave the client looking at me with a side eye from now on? If an experienced travel agent is having these doubts before pressing the submit button on a deal, I would think that the person who does not study travel for a living would be even more hesitant. If a traveler is without experience or just insists on doing it by themselves, Booking.com usually beats the other well-branded search engines. But many consumers are circling back to the travel agents, and you probably should too, and here's just a few reasons why. Travel agents are living, breathing advisors with experience. We are not just here to take your order, we're here to recommend and warn against. Think of how a financial advisor or lawyer sticks up for your best interests. A cold, heartless search engine would just search by your parameters and the next thing you know, you're sitting in the airport overnight waiting for a plane transfer that could have been scheduled midday with only a 30 minute wait in between. Agents now take pride in knowing your preferences for air travel, which cabin, where you like to sit, which airlines you prefer, and which offers would make sense for you. You could be searching for those preferences for days or even weeks. Our usage also excels when it comes to more complex trips with several legs and destinations. Even still, today's traveler just doesn't feel right without having their hands in the final decision of researching their trips online. 75% of those who frequently used agents also used review sites and sometimes book their own trips in conjunction with getting recommendations from their travel agent. The most crucial reason why people will still use a travel agent is personal service. But here are five other reasons you might consider using a travel agent. You may be a travel and booking expert, but companies are not training you on everything their service should offer. With world-class training from hotels, tours, excursions, and cruises, vacation companies need travel agents to be well-versed in what they must offer. They know that experience and being well-traveled makes a great advocate for their products and services. When we experience their offerings, we will recommend them to you before other options. Now this is far from getting advice from a person who backpacked around the earth like world hobos because many times they will consider a CD motel or low cost Airbnb as a viable option. Although we can accommodate that side of life, with Passport Kings, what you get is a real travel agent with a real LLC and real training who specializes in niches such as business trips, friends getaways, first times abroad, cruises, group travel, or romantic getaways for couples. My host agency has made sure that before they sent me out here offering my services, that I was well-trained, well-traveled, and in the right position to offer services. Number two, you need perfection. Travel abroad is more complex than domestic trips across the country. It is very easy to make mistakes when you're planning a big trip to celebrate a wedding, a birthday, 
or anniversary, or even your version of the Hangover movie with your friends. We make sure your itineraries match. There is also nothing worse than you and a group of your friends all getting off a cruise wanting to scuba dive, but there is not enough space for one of the couples when you get there. Your travel agent is on the hook to making sure timing coordinates. Number three, you don't have advisors and money-saving connections. Travel agencies have consolidated and banded together into large consortia, affording them unusual leverage to negotiate with travel suppliers on behalf of their clients. Hotels, tours, and cruises want to offer incredible deals to us to keep us coming back to them and for us to recommend them to you. You do not pay more to have an agent book your trip. The suppliers of your vacation pays me and they are happy to do so. Number four, you can let your agent sit on hold for you. Some hotels and some airlines will have you on the phone for up to 15 minutes before you speak to anyone. And that's under ordinary circumstances. In the middle of a crisis, standing there with a phone to your ear is the last thing you want to do. And I personally hate being transferred to one person just for them to tell me I have to be transferred to someone else. Call your travel agent first and let me do the holding for you. For you to have an excellent time on your vacation is literally my business. Number five, you want a safety net in case things go wrong. The phrase stuff happens is tenfold when it comes to a trip or a vacation. As hard as you plan, there are too many moving parts to secure every inch of your trip. Canceled flights can make you miss your port departure, disappearing luggage, your ID gets lost or taken, or someone could get sick or worse in a country where you may not want any medical procedures being done on you. When you call back home, your friends will have no idea what to do. Luckily, you'll have a friend in me who knows exactly what to do in a situation like this. And your safety and comfort is priority number one to me, all at no additional charge to you. The bottom line, your time is money and your leisure time is limited. You could do it all without a human travel agent by using Booking.com, which many times has the lowest prices you will find on the net. But if you find a personal agent, one who either fits or understands and meets your needs, plus when you take into consideration that we don't get paid from you, we get paid from the supplier, plus you support your community and your friend's business without doing anything more than you would normally do, and you actually wind up doing less, having a travel agent on your side is a no-brainer. Look, someone's going to get commissioned regardless of what engine you use to book your travel. I think that commission should go to a person who motivated you to travel in the first place. And even if your travel agent wasn't the one that motivated you to go somewhere, it's still better than giving that commission that's going to go to someone to a nameless, faceless person behind an algorithm. So yo, in the comments below, the question of the day is, where are some of the places that you wouldn't mind going in the next 12 months? On my website, I have a list of quite a few that you may be interested in. And when you're ready to book that trip or do any business, make sure the resources keep circulating in the community that you care about and that cares about you. I know it's easy to do it yourself, but get special accommodations like a king of passport tickets. Peace.